Okay, this is testing the last crimper. Let's see where we get to. We need a minimum of 100 kgs. A little bit of slippage there. Slipping just over 100. Hi guys, we're testing our factory crimp machines now. And uh, this is something we do weekly. In the meantime, we're gonna test crimping Dyneema. There's been a lot of discussions about crimping Dyneema. And uh, our previous test showed it wasn't near as good as tying a knot. So we're gonna be tying a knot one side and crimping the other. We also have a variation of the same knot one side and two little knots either side of the crimp. I have a third one, which is a hand crimped crimp, just to see how that one does. Let's test them. First one we're testing is just knot against knot, just to show a benchmark of what a conventional knot does. So this is the same knot we would be tying to the back of the spear. Let's see what forces we get there. Between 120 and 130. Oh, there we go. 130. Wow, just on 140 before one of the lines broke. Now, these Dynemas that we use is a custom made Dyneema. It's quite a hard weave and it has a center core just for those that are interested. So, that gave us over 140, which is a acceptable break strain. Let's try the crimp. The crimp is on the right side. Let's see how this goes. This is just plain crimp with the bench crimper. There's a give, that was about 60 odd. And there she slides and keeps sliding. So, the knot is still stronger on a plain crimp without any knots. Now we're going to try the version with a simple granny knot on either side. One on the main line and one between the two. Okay, now we're testing the crimp with a knot on either side. It should slip a little until the knots take up the load. There we're at 70 kilos. Not doing too bad at all. Something sheared there. I don't know where it sheared. Let me keep going and see where it falls. There we go. That actually pulled in the knot. I didn't see the exact break strain it went to, but it shared inside the knot. So a crimp with a knot either side is slightly stronger in this specific setup. We'd have to do it multiple times to see if it's better. I don't think it's that much better. Dimension wise, I think a knot itself is a lot smaller and you can tie this without having to have a crimp or a crimp tool with you. On reviewing the footage you guys have just seen, that was taken a few days ago, I realized I hadn't included the hand crimped Dyneema. The hand crimper, a lot of people think is just a little hand crimper, it's not going to be as strong as a bench crimper, but our tests have shown it's actually just as good as, if not better in some incidences. Reason being, it's a very narrow draw and you have to crimp it three times. The little lump that occurs in between each um, crimp actually helps an, with an undulation internally, like a serration almost, similar to what a, a zip strap or cable tie has. And that actually gives it quite good strength, uh, as good as a bench crimper and as I said, in some cases, even better. So, here we have the hand crimped one, no knots. Let's see how it fares.
taking up strain. There we go. <laughs> Not good at all. Yeah, just slipped out. Well, there you go. Single crimp by itself, whether it's bench crimped or hand crimped, not as good as the knotted version with a granny knot on either side. That I think went to 138, which was very good. Um, oh, there you have it. Guys, if you got any comments, please put them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you guys with any questions and uh, let's take it from there. Enjoy the next video.